Hi everyone, this is JD, your gadget review friend. Let's face it, iPhones are luxury phones and some Android users will make fun of it, but seriously, you want one, right? Android phone manufacturers are actually following Apple by selling their phone as if it's the fastest and has the best camera. They will try to throw the best specification possible only to find out that when you buy these phones and try to resell it, the value depreciated so much. That's not the case for Apple iPhones. Today we're reviewing the most expensive iPhone, the iPhone 13 Pro Max. Is it expensive or a good investment? I'll give you 8 reasons why you should own it this year. Hey, don't forget to subscribe my friend. Let's go! Our first reason is the battery life. This is one of the best battery life I've seen on a flagship phone. I know there's a lot of Android phone with big battery that the only purpose is to give you a long lasting battery life but it will suck on other things. Remind you this is a flagship phone. It is fast, the cameras are great, and the overall experience is top notch. The great battery life is coming from the combination of big battery capacity and a power efficient processor. It results to a slimmer and lightweight phone. On my day to day use, this will last me two days without needing to charge. If you want a gaming phone, buy a cheap Android phone and use it as a beater phone. Apple's battery replacement is expensive. Next reason is the ecosystem. I know, all of us are talking about it like forever. Like how good is the ecosystem of Apple? Well, in terms of apps availability, they have the biggest list of usable and functional apps. There are 3.48 million apps on Google Play Store and 2 million on the App Store. But the store isn't how many apps, but how many useful apps you can find. If you've been an Android user for quite some time now, you know there's a lot of junk apps and redundant apps on Play Store. While Apple App Store does have a more premium feel to it, like every app has function and meaning. A lot of them are paid apps, but that's the price to pay. Apple is pretty good with support for its iPhone. Most models tend to get 6 to 8 years of iOS updates, which is way better than anything in the Android space. I think my iPhone SE and iPhone 6S still get iOS 15 and my iPhone 8 are still up to date. Android phones are cheap because the manufacturers cut their costs on services and support. You will usually get 3 to 4 years of update, and if you find a budget phone, it may update for a few months and that's it. Is update important? Yes, for security patches, new functionality, and aesthetics. Next reason is performance. This is the easiest reason. This is the fastest phone right now, period. Because Apple is building iPhones from ground up, they have control over the architecture. And you know how the founder Steve Jobs hated wasted space, right? It goes the same in performance. Apple usually put this as a priority. You will notice in their presentation, they will always report that the newer iPhone is X amount faster than the previous model. They don't have the best specs, but they have the most fluid and seamless iOS and iPhone integration. Android manufacturers tends to do this, throw all the best and highest specs out there. That doesn't always work well in the long run. Next is build quality. Just by using this phone in few hours, I know it gotten better and better in terms of build quality. If you're paying so much on the phone, it has to build like a tank and look like a beauty. The Samsung S20 and S21 has a plastic back. What is that? I mean, come on. You paid so much and you got a toy-like phone with color options to choose from. Nah. iPhone 13 Pro Max has Gorilla Glass that uses ceramic shield material. I explained it on my iPhone 13 versus Pixel 6 comparison. If you want to know more about that, it's under Gadget RevNow's versus series. Adding to the premium materials, this phone also has stainless steel frame. Kidding aside, this phone may able to catch a bullet. Next is the camera performance. And on my first week of test, I mean, I think this is better than iPhone 13 in low light condition, but iPhone 13 alone has the best camera out there. It has a triple camera setup, all with 12 megapixels. I noticed consistency in colors and image quality across all sensors. And if you want the greatest vlogging phone possible, I think you can shoot a movie out of this one. The cinematic video is one of the greatest features we got from this phone. Next is the screen. For so long, Apple is giving us liquid retina display or simply the LCD screen. Let's drop the fancy name. On the newest iPhone 13 series, Apple leveled up their game by installing Super Retina XDR, another fancy name for OLED screen. It has a whopping 120Hz refresh rate, HDR10 compliant with Dolby Vision, and can peak at 1200 nits. That's a flagship screen and looks like the impressive Samsung S21 or S22 panel. 
Hey, if you own iPhone 13 Pro Max or any phones you see on our channel, we're making more videos of these phones in the future. Please hit the subscribe button to see more videos like this. And for our last reason, the reselling value. This is probably one of the top reasons why you should own it this year. Is it expensive? Yes, it is. But the reselling value don't drop as much as the Android counterpart. For the first year of use, you will probably retain 85-90% to 90 of the original market price. So if you need money for upgrade or just need money for emergency, this is a good investment. You will get most of the money you spent on it. Even the older iPhone 11 and 12 are still selling like hotcakes in used market and even with the higher price tag, people still buy it. With everything you get from the phone plus the 6-8 to eight years of update, you'll get most of your money. So what is Gadget Revenue's verdict? iPhone 13 Pro Max in 2022. Well, it's not cheap. It will cost you a fortune to buy this phone. On some countries or region, the market price might be equivalent to one full year of salary. I always preach buy what you can and enjoy what you have. iPhone 13 Pro Max is expensive. But for people who can afford a great phone like this, maybe it can tie it up with a phone plan, this is a good investment. Two things we can get from this video. You may use this for the totality of its supported years, 6 to 8 years maybe, and kill it. Or if one day you decide to get the newest phone, you know you can get a little bit more compared to the Android counterpart, it's a safe gamble. For those who can afford it, consider it, but those who can't, don't. A regular iPhone 13 might be a better solution. iPhone 13 Pro Max is expensive, but a good investment. And there you go. Hope you enjoyed this video. I will continue to compare iPhone 13 Pro Max with other phones in our channel, so stay tuned. And as always, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.